Southwood is a community of about 1,500 people. Um, it's a mobile home park located just south of the city of Charlottesville. Habitat bought Southwood in 2007 with the goal of redeveloping it into a permanent mixed income neighborhood. In Southwood, people own their trailers, but they don't own the land underneath them. Um, and that makes families vulnerable to development and displacement. That and the aging infrastructure um, make redevelopment with Habitat a necessity as well as an opportunity to transfer ownership of the land and to build a sustainable community. For me, living in Southwood with my family is a very good experience because it is a safe and friendly community. The Southwood neighborhood, even before Habitat, had a lot of those pre-existing relationships and connections. We worked together with residents to build on the strengths of the community and to start planning the neighborhood that's going to be here in the future. The difference between us providing uh, an answer and the community coming up with an answer is who owns it. If somebody owns it, then they defend it, then they struggle for it, then they protect it, they nurture it, they, they make it their own. My vision looking forward is to imagine the project or the first phase, and I'm sure that after that phase, most people not only from here, but from the surrounding area, will want to rent or buy a home here. They worked on a series of design charrettes. Many community members have spent nearly 2,000 hours of their time working together with the architects and engineers. The standard way of doing these things is to look at a community or look at a neighborhood and identify the things that need to get fixed. It uh, reinforces the role of who fixes and who gets fixed. Our goal here is to make sure that community members are participating in every step of the decision making and design planning process. So tonight what we want to do is we want to show back to you some of the work that we've done that has taken the design strategies that you've developed and turned them into planning documents for some proposed neighborhoods. Had we not organized that evening so that they could get their hands back on the drawings, it would have been that moment where we took it away. It's really interesting how everybody brings something and talking and then trying to put everything together and how they want it Southwood to look like in the future. Every time I come to meetings, I can imagine what the project would look like, and I feel very comfortable because of how they explain it to us. These folks are generous. These folks are uh, hardworking. They're disciplined. They're great problem solvers, and boy, we need them out in our community. We don't need them separated off in a corner. I look forward to seeing a future Southwood where the tight-knit community, the relationships that people have with one another, the supportive environment still exists and is preserved and is enhanced by um, an environment that's designed by and for the people who live here. For me, it is a dream that I'm sure will come true. I don't want to wait any longer. The sooner the better. <laughs>